yeah. like last week during the post-election um, podcast, you, you even voted for DeSantis. Yeah, hundred percent. So you said, "Listen, I, I may be, le- I may have been left yes. when I first started this thing, but I've grown because you associated yourself." With the right conversation, even though you're not right, you're not. You haven't flipped a Republican. No, I'm definitely but, not a conservative. But you're. In the, you, you now find yourself. I'm a moderate. In the I'm a 100. percent Interesting word. You're a moderate. Yes. Yeah. But but I realized that. So anyway, is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. like where do I stand now? Or, Correct. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've realized that I'm a, just a moderate person in general. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. I don't drink too much, but I'll have a couple beers. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't party too much, but I'll party. <laughs> like, you know, I. Were you like that though, younger? I mean, did you like get slosh slammed? Yeah, I younger? think I mean in college, who didn't? But you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> but but I've always been like, work hard, play hard, uh, right? Yeah, like yeah. get your shit done, yeah. and then kind of enjoy the fruits of your labor, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. Um, but as far as like political ideology, like everyone gets their ideology, whether it's religion, mm-hmm. whether it's politics, whether it's morals, principles. A lot of it comes from where? Your family. Mm-hmm. So in my household, JFK was the man. Yeah. Like my dad was a JFK guy. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Grew up in Detroit, yeah. JFK, mm-hmm. like, you know, yeah. racial relations, Detroit, black, yeah. white, Jewish, blah, blah. You know, my dad would always tell me as a kid, there were signs up in Detroit. This is in the 50s. It was no blacks, no Jews, no dogs. Damn. I was like, damn. That's a thing? So so blacks, Jews, and dogs are all in the same... Apparently. Like, okay. So... In Detroit? In Detroit. Wow. It's insane. And he told me that. So he's like, we're Democrats. JFK's the man. I said, dope. Um, I guess so. Uh, and then I liked Clinton. Clinton was swaggy as hell. <laughs> right? I was, you know... I did not have Yeah, I didn't have Liz Lewinsky. <laughs> right? <laughs> And uh, so I was a Clinton guy. And then, you know, I, I went to Florida State, which is in Tallahassee, Florida, yeah. which is the capital of Florida. I was in school at 2000. I was an intern at the um, Capitol building, the Capitol. I was an intern, 20 years old. This was right around the time of the election. Okay. Year 2000, yeah. Gore versus Bush. Bush yeah. I had voted for Jeb Bush. Uh, who was the governor of Florida. Did you yeah. know that? George yeah. W. Bush's uh, uh, brother uh, is Jeb Bush. He yeah. was the governor of Florida at the time of the 2000. Against Gore. Against Gore. Gore. So when it was like election season, and I didn't really have strong political ideology other than the fact that my dad was like, we're JFK Democrats type of thing. But I was intern at the Capitol building. Jeb Bush was my boss. He's the governor. Yeah. I voted for Jeb, but I also voted for Gore because I was a Clinton guy. I was confused, <laughs> right? And uh, I saw all this play out yeah. in, in front of my eyes because, remember, it came down to Florida. I mean, just if people don't remember mm-hmm. how divisive yeah. things were oh, yeah. in 2000, yeah, for sure. these, these chads on these ballots, mm-hmm. remember this term? Mm-hmm. These hanging chads because you'd punch the ballot. I don't know. This was a whole thing. And I was in the middle of it. I'm like, this is insane. So I saw this happen, and then we saw what happened with 9-11. America was unified. That's the last president we've had in this country to uh, receive um, approval ratings up north of 60%. George W. Bush, I think it was in 70%. These days, you're lucky if you get 49% Mm -hmm. in America Mm -hmm. today, Mm -hmm. right? You know, Trump never hit 50% approval ratings, never. Biden had it at the beginning. That's pummeled. So what am I getting at is that I saw what Bush happened to Bush, sky high approval ratings. By the time he left office, his approval ratings were in the 30s. Great recession, yeah. you know, the war in Afghanistan, Iraq, everything a mess. And then Obama shows up. And, and do you think most people vote because of personality or for policies? Most people. Uh, a, a personality. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Obama shows up, swagged yeah, yeah, out, yeah, yeah, black yeah. dude, cool yeah. as hell. Versus old ass John McCain running on the Republican <laughs> ticket after George W. Bush just had approval ratings in the yeah. 30s. Yeah. Of course, America's gonna vote for the cool, new black guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Sign let's, me up. Let's make history. Let's make history, baby. Yeah. Change, amazing. Yeah. I think. I remember that. I was, I was in yeah. Chicago at that time. I was you there saw what was going on. I saw it was the Victory Party in Millennium so, Park. I was right there. So, 
you know, back to your initial question of like, why are you liberal and why are you more of a moderate? Why do you have more, you know, right-leaning tendencies now is because since Obama, since Trump, the left has gone super so far left, left yep. and then certain factions of the right have gone yeah. super far right. Yeah. Like, look at January 6th. Sure. I mean, just as an example, the Proud Boys, the MAGA guys, mm -hmm. respect, don't come at me. Um, so here you are, it's like a man without a home. And my, I think, center of gravity has always been, because I was a former comedian, I've always liked Bill Maher. I've always liked Joe Rogan. I used to kick it with Joe Rogan at the Aspen Comedy Festival in 2004 when I was doing comedy, pre-politics. And if, if you look at Bill Maher today, he says, I haven't changed, the left has changed, yeah. right? Yeah. Joe even Rogan. He, even he's starting to uh, change his tune a lot 100%. of things right now. Yeah. I mean, he's not, a, he's, he'll call no. out Fox and oh, call sure. out Trump yeah. as much as anyone, but he'll also call out the woke left. He's, com he's calling out common sense. Common sense. Yes, and even Joe Rogan, you know, three, four, five years ago, he, he, I, he was a Bernie supporter, yeah. straight up. Do you think Rogan is viewed no. as a left Democrat now? Yeah, no. He's a he said vote, right winger vote, at this point. He said point. Vote Republican. That's what he said. Yeah. So we're going. So what am I giving? I'm giving this like sort of histronomics here of what's happened and where people start and where they kind of end up. I think what America is yearning for is, is common sense, and I've seen common sense over the last few years embodied in Ron DeSantis in Florida. Now, now he still has to prove himself on the national stage. I don't fanboy over politicians mm -hmm. like that. I'm not mm -hmm. like, that's my guy. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's clear that the, the Biden-Kamala agenda is not doing great. No, not it's clear that the country no. is like, thanks, Trump, for your service, mm -hmm. but like we need something new. Yeah. Everyone that he em embraced, yeah. every single governor lost, every yeah. election denier lost. Carrie, Light, Larry, Carrie Lake in yeah. Arizona, she was supposed Horrendous. to be the next yeah. thing she lost. Yeah. America's just like, can we just get back to normalcy, yeah. decency, and common sense? And just to kind of put a button on this, bro, I'm not on team blue. I'm not on team red. Mm -hmm. I'm on team red, white, and blue. And I want whoever there the next go. president to be, yeah. brother, yeah. get to that 60% approval rating. This race to the bottom where you can win at 48, 49, 50%, mm -hmm. where not even half of America is even voting for you, I think is a losing proposition for America as a whole. Yep. Whoever it is, whether it's a Nikki Haley, whether it's a DeSanta, whoever it is, if they can get to America where that's like 60%, it's not a big ask. Yep. I'm not asking for 80%. I'm not asking yep. for 90%. 60% yeah. or six out of the 10 Americans are like, I'm cool with that guy. Yep. I would love to see that, whoever what, it is. What, what my, one of my most inspirational quotes when I, was, when I was started to read when I was you know, listening to Marine Corps was, don't ask what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. JFK. Which made me proud to serve in the Marines. Yes, that which was, is, that which was is, a Democrat. Which is the Democrat message. And he would be a, a, a sort of a moderate yeah. Republican at this point. Correct, because why? When you, when you move the goalposts, yep. when you pull up the anchor of what your values and principles are all about to try to accommodate, 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 you end up moving in that direction versus staying anchored in common sense. Yes. And that common sense will be anchored based on your values, principles, and what you, what you stand for. But if, it, if there's no anchor, and you're like a ship without a rudder, or you're a ship in the middle of an ocean. You just, you're drifting. You're just getting pushed wherever the storm takes you. You know that's what that's what happens when, when uh, when you're not using canvas. You're not anchored. You're not yeah. grounded. And so, and you, you know what's awesome is that that's what's so important about conversations like this. Yeah. It's so what what's so important about conversations that we have on PBD podcast. Yeah. So important what we do on valuetainment, what Rogan's doing, because. We've disrupted the mainstream media. Just how like Bitcoin disrupted the monetary system mm -hmm. or Trump, or, you know, or certain or Bernie disrupted mm -hmm. politics. Used to just it was three options back in the day. ABC, NBC, CBS. There it was. Yeah. Now these types of conversations, you can go find common sense. You don't have to just eat what they tell you to eat. Yeah. And and that's where someone listening might say, you know what? I was always been a Democrat, but. I don't know what Matt just told me makes complete sense. Yeah. Have always been a hardcore Republican, but I don't know what Adam just told me about 60% approval ratings kind of makes sense. You'll find common sense in conversations like this, yeah. not in ideologues in mainstream media. Yeah.